So how the rule of 72 is actually pretty simple math. And the math is, I take the number 72, I divide it by the, the interest rate that I'm getting, and the answer tells me the amount of time it takes my money to double at that interest rate. So the first example here is if I take that math, 72, divided by 1, and it's not divided by 0.01 because, you know, 1% converted to a number is 0.01, but it's 72 divided by 1, it means it takes 72 years for my money to double. At 2%, 72 divided by 2 is 36, which means at 2%, my money doubles every 36 years. At 3%, it's 24, 4 is 18, and so on. So what does this have to do with life insurance? Well, if you think about it, if I am 40 years old today, I get a $1 million policy. In uh, 20 years from now, how much is a million even worth? And do I want to protect what my current need is or do I want to protect my potential future need for life insurance if something were to happen to me? So I'm 40 years old. I get a million dollar policy, inflation's at 3%, what does that mean? Well, the rule of 72 works the same with doubling your money as it does the opposite of doubling your money, which is how often is the value of money cut in half. So if I'm at, you know, at a fixed position and I double my money, if I go back to that fixed position and I do the opposite, that means I'm cutting the value of my money in half. So what does that mean? If I'm 40, that means in 24 years from now, assuming inflation's an average of 3%, it means in 24 years when I'm 64, the value, the purchasing power of that million dollar life insurance policy is now 500,000. So here's something to think about. Between now, if I'm 40, and age 64, what am I anticipating that my income will do? Well, hopefully the answer is that it's going to go up. So, several episodes ago, we talked about the dime method and needing to protect ourselves with life insurance. But then we also talked about the law of decreasing responsibility. Well, if in 24 years from now, the value of the insurance coverage that I have is getting eaten away by inflation, and my income is steadily increasing, does the, does the death benefit of my life insurance, will it ever be necessary that I lower that death benefit? If my income's going up, that means as I move forward, I would need to protect more of my income. Hopefully I'm saving money, and that can kind of reduce that number, but it's just something to think about is that a million dollars today is not a million dollars in 24 years. A million dollars today is definitely not a million dollars in 30 years from now. And so that's why using not necessarily the rule of 72, but the inverse rule of 72, where it's not focusing on the years that it takes to double my money, I'm focusing on the years that it's going to take where the value of my money is cut in half. And that's our real world rule of money for today when you're thinking about life insurance. Mm -hmm.